Yes guys and welcome back. So today I'm just going to go over a couple of tips on how to lose weight and keep a weight off. So let's jump into us now. So if you're new to my channel and you're watching this video for the first time and you're trying to lose weight, I just want to say welcome and hopefully these tips will help you. And one thing I want to say is do not go on any of those stupid crash diets where they're like, oh you can only eat a thousand calories a day because it's going to have a yo-yo effect where you're going to go on it and you're going to come off it and then you're just going to binge straight after it and you're just going to end up putting the weight back on so you don't really want to be doing them and also you don't want to be doing anything like getting these stupid fat burner pills, pills like this one here they're not worth it because they don't really help they might help a little bit but it's better to do it naturally and do it slowly that's the best way to do it because if you lose the weight slowly you're more likely to keep it off so one of the tips is to track your calories and basically you've got to make sure you're in a calorie deficit and this is going to be hard to do because you're going to feel hungry all the time but the best way to counteract that is by eating foods which are low in calories like spinach or fruits there's loads you can find online i mean i'm not a nutrition but if you just go into google type in low calorie foods it will come up with loads of lists and you can make a meal around that because say if you have 500 calories of spinach compared to 500 calories of pizza you probably have like one slice of pizza compared to a massive bowl of spinach which is going to fill you up more and also fruit is a really good way to have low calorie foods because they're really low in calories and it's one of your five a day so what more can you want and also remember to drink as much water as possible because it's really good for you and staying hydrated is one of the main things and going on to the other one is if you like drinking fizzy drinks or pop the best thing to do is switch them to diet diet coke or diet versions or the zero sugar versions because a lot of people don't calculate the calories in the fizzy drinks they drink and if you have a lot of sugar in the drinks they're going to bump up the calories by a lot so just go for a diet version or the zero sugar version and speaking about fruit i'm having a pot of fruit for my breakfast and another one I would say is just start doing slight exercise to begin with. Like if you're not doing much exercise, start by going for like a 20 minute walk or a bike ride. And to make it a lot easier, do something you find fun for your exercise. Like for me, I enjoy playing football. So if you enjoy playing football or soccer, as you Americans call it, do that. Or any other sport activity you find fun, even if it's swimming. Swimming is a really good way to help you lose weight because it works all your muscles and it's a good cardio exercise as well. So swimming is a really good way to help you lose weight. And yeah, I mean, everyone starts their journeys um, at a different point, but... It's not about where you start, it's the end goal you want to get and if it's not happening quickly, don't get upset about it because it's all about persistence. If you start a diet and quit after a couple of weeks where you've not really seen anything, it's just pointless doing it. So another one is also go to like some spin classes or any other classes at a gym or if you can't afford it, just go for walks. I mean, any exercise you do, if you haven't been doing much exercise, any extra exercise on top of that is going to help you lose weight. And one thing which you cannot basically do is target where you lose the weight. And you see these stupid articles then, lose that stubborn belly fat. If you're losing weight, you can't choose where it comes off. So... It's the same as when you're putting on weight. If you're trying to put on weight, you can't say, oh, I want to get a little bit bigger in the 
arms or a belly or a legs and you're trying to put on weight, you can't choose where it goes and you can't choose where it comes off. It's basically science and you can't just say, right, I'm going to target my stomach fat and lose that because it's impossible to target certain areas. It's just if you lose it slowly and you can tone up and get in like a better belly by that way, but you can't target exactly the place where the fat comes off because it's impossible to do. And I just want to go back to the calorie deficit part. If you don't understand what that means, it's basically the best way to do it is work out how many calories you're eating now. And then to be in a calorie deficit is basically eating under your maintenance. So for me, someone who's not really a big person, my maintenance is probably about 2,200 calories a day. So if I wanted to lose weight, I would go into a calorie deficit where I would eat something like 2,100 calories. So it's not too big of a deficit, but it's enough of a deficit where if you're doing exercise on top of that, you lose the weight because you're not having excess calories, which is getting turned into extra energy. And if you're not burning off that energy, it will get stored as fat. So work out your calorie maintenance and say if you're eating 4,000 calories a day now or 3,500 drop it by 100 calories don't go too crazy and go on a crash diet like dropping it down to 1,500 calories because like I said you're just going to yo-yo and shoot straight back up to eating junk food and that's another thing don't limit yourself to all healthy food just make sure you're sticking to your calorie intake so say if your calorie intake is 2,700 a day and you want a pizza or a burger, you can have it. Just make sure it doesn't go over your calorie intake for a day because then you still can treat yourself to something nice because if you starve your body off chocolate or a pizza, you end up craving it more which will make you end up breaking your diet. So another thing which I would do is set realistic targets. So don't say you want to lose this certain amount of weight. Say, okay, I want to drop a couple of pounds in a couple of weeks. You keep doing that and after a while, you soon reach your target weight you're happy to be at. And the main important thing is just don't give up and stay consistent and don't lie to yourself, make sure you're properly tracking your calorie intake as well because it's hard to do if you haven't got a calorie calculator but just roughly estimate it because say one day you eat 2,000 calories and the next you eat 3,000 calories, as long as in your weekly calorie intake it balances itself out, you're still going to lose weight. And one last thing I want to say is you can find low calorie recipes online and there's loads of cookbooks out there. Like there's one I heard of which is meant to be really good. It's a, the Power 13 cookbook by Coach Greg. I've been watching a couple of his videos as well and he seems like he knows what he's doing. I mean he used to be a pro bodybuilder and... He's got a load of different chefs and fitness influencers who've designed the recipes. So if you're looking at something like that, I would recommend checking out the Power 13 cookbook. It's definitely worth a read and it's got loads of different recipes which are low in calories, high in protein, which is really good if you're trying to go to a gym and build muscle and lose weight. But the main thing is just enjoy the journey and don't put too much pressure on yourself to lose it all straight away and basically try and make it fun while you're losing it and don't let it take over your life just do it naturally and enjoy your process anyway guys i hope that helps and i just want to say thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video